Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. Hope everyone is enjoying their day. God, Michael, Spirit, messages for the collective at this time. Anything they need to know for their highest and greatest good. messages for the collective watching at this time runner mirror karmic relationship damn and then we have passion on the bottom of the deck insane chemistry like each other equally having fun then we have runner runner and codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to ego Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our, our, our wounds, introspection. What I'm getting with this is reflect our roots as well. So someone could uh, also care about what other people think, like a community of people. And we have karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So, I just heard someone's leaving a karmic relationship for you. But only take that if it resonates, guys. That's not for everyone. You know what? I kind of want to get this. God, Michael, Spirit. Messages for this situation at this time. Messages for this situation. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. I'm hearing you save this person. Like you save this person's spirit. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. That's so crazy, guys. I was literally going to start this video and give you guys a heads up that I'm going on like some kind of retreat um just to like literally disconnect from the world get better because I'm still sick and just like get my energy all good that's so crazy that card came out and we have children your love life is being affected by children and then pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so be careful if someone comes in all passionately only. Pay attention to those red flags, okay? Um, I'm also hearing uh, don't allow someone to make you their escape. So basically, if they're dealing with a karmic relationship and they're feeling some type of way, like sadness, heartbroken, and they're wanting to use you passionately to kind of get over them, then we have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I'm getting a little teasing here. A little flirting is okay. Just be mindful. There could be children involved in this karmic situation here. I feel like that's a big part. Someone could be worried about how the kids are going to handle this or how the kids are handling. You could be also going on a retreat along with uh, your person here. We have Page of Wands. Playfulness is definitely Page of Wands energy. Queen of Pentacles. That's so crazy. King of Cups. Eight of Wands. So someone could text you very vague <laughs> very vague but very passionate i feel like it's coming from a place of emotional like so king of cups is usually the king that is very emotional but doesn't know how to express their emotions um like they're they're usually reserved is what i should say 
Yeah, we're going to have to get more Queen of Cups. There's a lot of energy over here. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, uh, sorry, Four of Pentacles. So for me to say Four of Swords, um, you guys could need to rest, guys. Queen of Wands, Tower, Knight of Wands. Ooh, there's a lot of people in this reading. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Okay, hold up. Let's go through this real quick. <laughs> oh, well. Did you guys see this? So I lifted this to go through, and we have the lovers and the hierophants, like, slid right off of it. So this definitely is involving a spiritual connection with the hierophant and the lovers. It's probably a twin flame connection or a higher level soulmate. This is definitely your counterpart, though. Um, also could be, like, traditions when it comes to love situation higher level of commitment marriage but we have the queen of cups here with the ace of pentacles the eight of swords the four of pentacles the queen of wands the tower the knight of wands so some feminine energy definitely did some passionate exercises um This could be same sex, guys. Only take that if it resonates. There's a lot of females up in here. Well, not a to all. <laughs> then we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Minor Arcana of the Empress, with the Nine of Cups. Nine, nine could be significant. Nines are also almost to the end. It's like that last, last step, last stage. Yep, that Four of Swords did come out. Someone could be working too much, needing to rest here. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's clarify this King of Cups. Actually, yeah, let's clarify the King of Cups for the collective watching at this time. So, thank gosh... Divine Masculines are finally following their intuition and not being blinded by this karmic. So if there was any spell work or manipulation going on, this Divine Masculine is waking up to it and moving to calmer waters. Seeing that this is going in this direction where we have the Eight of Wands, which is a message, and so is this Page of Wands. But it's very flirty, playfulness, passion. Um, I don't feel like this Divine Masculine is going to reach out very serious. I don't see him or her reaching out and expressing emotions. I think they're going to play it cool and go kind of playful and flirty. Like, hey, it's been a while. I miss hanging out or I miss talking with you or, you know, something a little bit more chill. We have the Five of Swords. <laughs> they could want to explain any conflict that you guys had. Yeah, long time coming. They definitely they definitely waited a long time to have some kind of reunion. They could want to invite you somewhere to start planting seeds. Yay, we're seeing the strength. Which means this Divine Masculine is overcoming devil energy, guys. So we have that King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Divine Counterparts here. They could be afraid of rejection, and that's why they're not coming. They're keeping away their um, outpouring amount of emotions they have for you, or the fact that they want to renew this connection. It could be because there's a lot of outside sources that always have something to say about this connection. Um, again, self-image. This person really, really cares about what other people think. Yeah, you're definitely going to pay attention to the red flags here. 
and you're you're definitely going to be in this queen of swords energy protecting your home um also protecting this connection as well so if you guys do have a beginning like out of nowhere i feel like divine feminines you might want to keep it on the hush hush for now <coughs> not tell anybody and it could be because of uh, it could be because of outside sources here yeah closing cycles while wow, successfully, Eight of Cups moving away from what no longer serves with the Justice. So there could be court hearings. Just decision. Yeah, so this Divine Masculine wants to bring some peace and justice to this situation. They could be seeing where you're coming from now. Where they didn't before and it could have this karmic relationship could have been the what's the word I'm looking for like the last straw I guess you could say let's clarify this queen of pentacles please God Michael spirit clarify the queen of pentacles I almost didn't do this reading just because I kept getting, you know, go to bed. Because <laughs> it's like 3 o'clock in the morning where I'm at. And I just fin finished working all day. We have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like... I feel like after this retreat, Divine Feminines, um, you were doing the same things, guys. So, I think after this retreat, your finances might actually start picking up. And I do feel like it's going to cause some conflict with people. Wow, people, you got a lot of haters, Divine Feminine. Look at this energy. Five of Wands, Five of Cups, Five Five. Uh, sorry, Five of um, Pentacles. Don't let anybody get you in the Five of Cups energy because I accidentally said that. So Five 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 could be significant or Five Five. Um, seven of Swords in the Five of Swords. Well, Five 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 actually, or Five Seven Five Five. Yeah, you got a lot of haters, a lot of people coming after you, wanting to put you down financially. This could be past energy as well, where people were being very sneaky and deceptive. Um, I actually heard hacking. Um, but yeah, a lot of people didn't have very nice things to say about you. And I feel like there was no basis for it. Someone could have went along with it because of money. And this is why they're wanting to um, balance out the scales. See, we had the scales again, like justice, like bring justice to the situation. Yeah, you sat in your emotions for a very long time, Divine Feminine. But you kept on pushing. Very resilient. You didn't allow these people to hurt you or set you back at all. Let's clarify this Eight of Wands. Look at that, guys. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups in Temperance, man. That is massive healing. Temperance um, is uh, Archangel Gabriel, by the way. But very, and if anybody doesn't know, um, Archangel Gabriel is the messenger. Oh, my gosh. Messenger of God. <laughs> if I can get it out. Um, so I feel like... So temperance usually comes out when you've healed from very traumatic and um, terrible experiences. Like, temperance isn't just a light and fluffy angel. Oh yeah, you're healing. Hooray. No. Like, it, it's pretty bad shit here. And seeing that it's coming out with the Ten of Cups, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm hearing Divine Feminine that it could have been family-based. Um, it could have been 
something you thought was going to be a happy home that's caused you a lot of grief. Let's look at this last card, Page of Cups. Yeah, now you're you're very cautious on who you you share your emotions with. Like you you give them just enough. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you saw the truth in a lot of people here. King of Pentacles on when I that was peeking out. There was a lot there's a lot of truths being hidden from you. But you being the magician, I feel like this is this is false. This is what people think. People think that you don't know, but you do actually know. You know the truth. Michael allowed you to see the truth. And you have this, you have all the tools required to see the truth. Magician is Gemini and Virgo energy. You could be single at this very moment in time too because the magician is a single man. <coughs> so you could be divine feminines in your masculine energy and taking care of business. Make sure you're keeping your heart chakra open. Healing some wounds from your sh sacral chakra. That's always hard for me to say with my speech impediment, guys. <laughs> Can I get, yeah, one card for the Page of Wands and look at this fool. Someone's definitely going, going to take a risk. So this communication, I feel like, is going to occur randomly. Um, it could be when they're feeling all kinds of playful. Maybe someone hypes them up in their, their friend group or their family and says, you know, just text them, text them, and then boom. Yeah. A lot of back and forth before it happens. They could fantasize about you a lot too with the passion and the seven of cups. A lot of confusion during this heartbreak. They could be watching you and it's breaking their heart as well because you may have many options. They could be very money focused right now. In their heads a lot about what to do. What? Seeing that I didn't leave any cards out. For some reason I'm being called to get one more for this eight of... Eight of wands. <laughs> Ace of wands. Oh, I was going to say something that I cannot say on camera. Because um, you guys would definitely take it the wrong way. And I don't mean it that way. <laughs> but Ace of Wands with the Eight of Wands. What did I tell you? Passionate communication. They're going to sex you probably. So pay attention to the red flags. You can flirt. You can tease. You can be playful. Just be careful. Make sure it's not just this, guys. And again, make sure people are all clean and nice and all that. <coughs> but... This is an action card, okay? So I do feel... <laughs> I just heard dick pic. You may get that. I don't know. Um, this is an action-oriented card, though, so they are going to take action, and it's probably going to be through messages because we do have two message cards. Page of Wands is definitely that flirty type of energy, so this is definitely coming out. And the fool, obviously, you know, could come out as the fool, the one that's naive, that just takes the leap of faith. Um, and they pr they probably need it, you know, not being too great with expressing emotions. Yeah, this could be um, them walking away from this karmic energy here. This could be when they reach out or in the process All right, is there anything else the collective needs to know at this time? Is there anything else the collective needs to know at this time? Four of Cups, they're bored. They're bored and you make them feel alive. You light up their light. I don't know why I just said that. You light up their light. I meant you light up their life. 
King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the Divine Masculine. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. King of Pentacles. Justice. Star. The Sun. Death. The World. Oh my gosh. Hold up. So what I just got with this is I feel like this Divine Masculine is going to come out all right, like financially with this court hearing. And this right here, Divine Feminines, this is you. This Divine Masculine sees you not only as the star, but the sun. So you are like the shit to this Divine Masculine. They feel like it doesn't get better than you. Like, no joke, I'm not even trying to gas you up. This Divine Masculine, like I'm hearing, they are completely devoted to you. Their mind, body, heart, soul, like it is yours. They may be somewhere else, but internally, they're yours. Some of you, I am hearing that they're not um, being intimate with this karmic anymore. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing that song, uh, Hopelessly Devoted. I don't remember who sings it, though. And then we have Spiritual Awakening, I think is what's gathering this Divine Masculine, like the strength to close out this cycle successfully. No matter what people are saying, this is like their last straw. I keep getting that, the last straw. Yeah, and then we have the five of wands again on the damn bottom of the deck. This could have to do with family, friends that they've known for a long time. They definitely made investments in this situation, but, oh yeah. Look at this. Judgment and the devil. God came and told this masculine you're fucking around too much, basically. Like, you're doing too much devil energy. You are a divine being having a human experience, and you are not learning your lesson. So, <laughs> basically, I don't mean to laugh, but that's exactly what that judgment is. God was like, all right, fuck around and find out. Sorry for all the swearing. My bad, guys. <coughs> I'm going to pull from the Shaman, Shaman Dreams deck. Someone could be having dreams about you. And uh, I'm going to close out this reading so I can kind of keep it short and sweet. God, Michael Spirit. Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. Double confirmation with the magician. That's so sick. Magician sword. Confidence in your magic, 37. But why I'm saying that's sick is because when we saw the magician, you can rewind it, the Ace of Swords came out with it. So there's something to do with your voice and speaking truth. People, um, people could gravitate towards you or they listen to you. But it has to do with your connection to the divine. Like, you're literally the vessel... That the divine speaks through. That's so sick. Someone could be born in 73. Someone could be 37. Then we have Feast of Plenty Choices and Their Consequences. 20. This is kind of giving me the whole uh, Three of Swords energy. But you removed one of the swords. So when you decided to let go and focus on yourself, remember I said that your finances come up Divine Feminine and then Feast of Plenty. This right here is like more than enough wealth this guy's giving to um, two different people. So I feel like you're going to have like generational wealth. A lot to go around is what I'm hearing and it's because you removed the sword that 
probably you turned into your damn you turned into your power so this heartbreak you turned into something beautiful you de you definitely transmuted that energy and you became very determined someone could be 20 years old 2020 could be significant as well and then we have 33 someone can be 33 joyful muse inspiration yeah, you could be an artist or a musician, or you could just be, like, creatively expressing yourself. Keep in mind, guys, um, stuff like singing and dancing and art, it was never meant to be a job. It was never meant to be a master at it. You were just supposed to do it. It's a human experience. It doesn't matter if you suck. I can't paint, but I'll go to a place to have fun and, you know, drink some wine and paint something, and it's going to suck balls, but I'm still going to have fun. This is human experiences, guys, so even if you're not good at something, still do it. Sing at the top of your lungs in your car. Dance like nobody's watching, dude. Like, seriously, enjoy life. Also, Divine Feminines, I think you are someone's muse. <laughs> uh, I just saw 616. Or 26, 16. And then we have 36, lost in space, needing direction. So you could be at a standstill energy right now. Kind of a bit avoidant in self-sabotage. I'm not going to lie. And this could be why you're needing to retreat and collect yourself. Someone could be born in 63 or be 36. <coughs> but yeah. Just find your way. I'm being guided to look underneath. Empty world, time to replenish yeah 16 2016 could be significant um this is giving me like five of cups energy which i accidentally said earlier so yeah you could be in this like victim woe is me kind of mentality right now and you're draining yourself you could be working to kind of avoid your emotions as well um not having to think about it so you're just being distracted and saying oh i have to do this i have to do that um, just take time for yourself, Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines. Um, I'm praying for you guys. Everything's going to work out, though. The cards are saying everything's going to work out, and people can lie, but energy can't. Hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video if you like this content, guys. Peace.